Hey, how you guys doing? Make another video here. Uh, time lapse, uh, mainly of the coloring. You can see the coloring in the bottom right hand side there is what it's going to turn into. And this is uh, from one of my collection, or it's going to be part of my watercolor collection, the uh, surreal figure uh, collection. That's why I decided to call it instead of nature, even though there's a lot of nature involved in. This one has a lot of, a lot of uh, meaning to it. The main thing is I wanted to make sure that the idea worked, and so I just used like some basic shapes, and I realized, hey, you know, I like the idea. I think I, I think this will work really good. It has a lot of meaning behind it, and so I went ahead and uh, you know looked at it. And I was like, I think everything in the, in the sketch kind of worked pretty good, and I was like, ah, the definitely got to do the hips, you know. And so I went ahead and did the hips, and I might even still do another drawover. Also, I didn't like the face too much, so I redraw the face as well, and I redraw the elbow and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, like I said, there's a lot of meaning to this one. We don't want to give too much of it away. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of hidden meaning here. The basic idea I think is pretty simple to get, but there's some other stuff in there that 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 it's saying. I almost draw the uh, the shadow of her elbow way up there. I was like, wait a minute, the shadow of the elbow would be like wait would would be down a lot further, and that make maybe the shadow of her boob would be there. But yeah, so this this one's really cool, and it was really fun to work on, and I, I like it a lot. And um, the believe it or not, the actual um, upside down star with the with the ropes came later. I didn't have that idea at first until actually I was, I was just originally going to have like two ropes tying her and uh, squishing her breast. And I was like, you know what, what else could like symbolize what I'm trying to symbolize, you know, cause you know how they always demonize, you know, marijuana and they demonize pot smokers and stuff. So anyway, there I was actually, um, the pole behind her head, the wooden post behind her head, I thought was just too big. So it kind of competed with her head and kind of like, just kind of looked like her head just kind of grew right into it. So to make it look more like it's like a pole behind her head, I made it thinner. These are little things to watch out for, like lines that are kind of like too close together and kind of you know ruins that thing you're going for. And here I, you know, I kind of make her head like it's more kind of like tilted way still, but kind of like maybe facing up and away from us. I thought maybe that would look look cooler. And uh, in the process, it's kind of more more of a structured face. And I'll go back in when I redraw it. But like I said, it's a quick sketch, and then I wanted to make sure the color scheme that I had in my mind would work. So I do a quick digital coloring first because I can do that. I can you know bust that out really fast to see if the colors work and if I like the way it's headed before I do the final um, you know actual watercolor because watercolor is final. You know I mean you can always do more than one, but I think I really like using digital for figuring out if my color scheme is going to work and uh, kind of also kind of figure out the background and stuff too. And uh, I do like all this. I think I'm going to get rid of the Statue of Liberty thing she's standing on. Obviously, she's, stand she's standing very similar to the Statue of Liberty, but instead of holding uh, the whatever she's holding in her hand, I can't, it's like some sort of like tablet or book or something. In this case, she's holding the bong. And instead of the torch, she's holding in her big, long, stretched out wooden arm, because this is a, the surrealism part of the uh, painting. Uh, she's holding up the medical cross for cannabis, for medical cannabis. And this part here kind of just, you know, it didn't take a whole lot of thinking as far as color scheme, but it did kind of take some time. And so I think the overall color scheme I want is kind of more on the greener, the greener palette, so kind of the cooler palette. I bring in a lot of different, um, like, objects. They're basically just black and white objects you can bring in on manga. It's no longer called Manga Studio, I guess now it's uh, Clip Studio Paint, but this can save a lot of time for conceptual work. Uh, if you don't want to like sit there and you notice here, I just kind of took an object that kind of reminded me of a rock and then I drew on top of that and made it into a rock. I mean, obviously it was a tree, but I only took part of it to make it into a rock. But yeah, so then I was like, ah, oh, this is kind of cool. I can use this idea for some perspective going in the background, but I didn't want it to be palm trees, you know, it's supposed to be more of like a, like a wooden kind of like a little forest, you know? So I just turned them into forest trees instead and added some more in the background there. And then here I'm just like, you know what? I want some like tree structure at the top. I don't feel like drawing it all real quick, you know? So this is a quick way to do it. There's a lot of really helpful tools in, in Clip Paint Studio for that kind of thing. Now I want our body to kind of stand out different. So you have the more cooler palette of colors in the background, you know, there's the kind of green cooler colors. And when I do the watercolor, there'll be like greens and blues and cyans, you know, a lot of cool colors like that. Maybe even a little bit of uh, purples with shadows and stuff. And then for her, I, I'm going to have her be more on the war on the warmer side. So she'll be she'll have some like you know warmer colors making up her skin, and some maybe even uh, like pink and stuff. And then 
the fire, obviously, I'm going to make the fire with red and like orange and, and yellow and white. And I think the fire with watercolor is going to be the hardest thing to pull off as far as making it look bright like fire does. You know, really make it have that saturation that fire has. And I think that'll be the most saturated part. And therefore, I think she needs, she needs to be more saturated too, using more saturated colors. So the background will be like more desaturated colors maybe. And she'll be more saturated color. That's what kind of it's kind of what I went here with the digital version. It might be a little bit harder to pull that off with the watercolors, but I think I'll be able to. And this isn't by no means a a final rendering. You know, if if, if I was going to do a final rendering, I would just make it a digital work, make it a digital painting. Um, as you can see me up there, you can see my hand working, so you can see that I'm actually doing the same kind of stuff as I would if I was painting. Um, but anyway, I bought a new projector, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's for watercolor. That way you don't have to like try to trace through the watercolor paper because that's kind of hard with a light board. Even if your light board's like really bright, it can be difficult to um, trace through um, thicker watercolor paper and see what you're see what it is that you're trying to trace that you already drew. And also digital drawing, it, it it's faster for me. You know, I can make corrections quicker and things like that. So sometimes I'll 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 do the sketch on paper first. Either way, once you're finished with your drawing, it's it's how do you get it to your, how do you transfer that now to your watercolor paper? Especially if your drawing is a different size than your watercolor paper and you want to make it bigger. You can go to like Kinko's and blow it up and then like trace it or there's different methods like that. But I find the projector to be the, the easiest. And so it's a desk projector and it's kind of expensive. It's like 400 bucks, kind of crazy. But uh, it's because it's for art. You know, if you bought one that was for projecting movies, you can get a really good one that works pretty good you know, for the purpose of what you need it for, for like 100 bucks. But then you have to like convert it to where you can like fit it on your on your desk. Now, if you don't mind drawing like at an angle on an easel, then it's fine. You just set it up somewhere anyway. So you can see that the concept's pretty much done. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed this. And if you did, please go ahead and share it. Stay tuned for the actual watercolors of all these uh, figures because I'm I plan on recording all of them and having commentary on them. Um, the different watercolor ones I've showed so far. Uh, this one I'm not sure what the oh yeah that's right I did I did name this one. This one is called. Um, marijuana went down to Georgia name kind of like taken after the song the devil went down to Georgia marijuana went down to Georgia and obviously that kind of that kind of gives away what the meanings about there's there's a lot of other hidden hidden meanings there as well but the overall meaning is pretty clear that people demonize marijuana and demonize marijuana users and it's it's unfortunate because there's so many people you know, so many states out there right now that people could really benefit from it that are have, that have cancer and stuff like that. And unfortunately, it's illegal for them to medicate themselves with this awesome medicine because it's illegal in their state. All right. Again, thank you for watching. And if you, again, if you got anything out of this video at all that you found beneficial, please do me a favor and leave a comment. That'd be awesome. Hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more. And go ahead and share the video because that's going to help a lot. Uh, that way other people can also benefit from it. All right. Oh, and what like do you want to see a tutorial on that I haven't done already? <laughs> I guess I can redo another tutorial or, or do it in a different way, you know? Anyway, all right, thanks for watching.